crafty friends. So here is another Dollar Tree haul. Um, it's a uh, quite a big one. So let's get started. Now I purchased the Happy Planner sticker books from Dollar Tree. Um, I've been seeing them on Instagram and I was shocked to find that my stores actually had them. So, you know, I thought, uh, maybe I'll go check and see if they have them. And sure enough, they did. I couldn't believe it. So I purchased a whole bunch. I mean, these were only a dollar. Now I already have this watercolor one, which I believe I got on clearance from Walmart, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> and then I also got this seasonal one, which I have a feeling I might have also purchased on clearance, but like I said, I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I purchased one set for my friend Kat, one set for my friend Clarissa, um, and one set to give away. Um, I have an extra one here because I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I think I, I could have sworn that I had purchased so that I would have even number, but I guess not. So um, maybe I'll just give this to my niece because I convinced her to start journaling. I want to have at least one of my nieces to be journaling so that way I can start giving them stuff that I have and they don't have to be buying. Um, you know, it's a, one way to de-stash. So yeah. Get yourself over to Dollar Tree and look for these. Now, I found uh, these at one Dollar Tree over in the um, office supply section, but then I saw another Dollar Tree had them in the craft section. So you might have to kind of look around. They weren't just getting just one box of each. Um, it seems like they're getting at least a couple of boxes of them. So, I mean, it's not bad. This is like 1,500 stickers, 1,000 stickers. So, yeah. Definitely a good deal. Um, I mean, like I said, that's that'll come in an upcoming giveaway. I'm still torn as to whether I'm going to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers or 150 because I'm almost there. So today, when I went to Dollar Tree, I took my nieces shopping because they had to go buy. One of them had to buy a birthday present for her friends whose birthday is actually tomorrow. So I took her. I took them both to Five Below and then to Dollar Tree to go and buy um, a gift bag and birthday cards and Father's Day cards, um, which they use their own money for. So anyway, so while we were in checkout, I noticed that they had these hanging by the register, which I'd never seen before at the other Dollar Trees. And they're the disposable masks. Now these are packs of 10 in each. So they had other designs. They had like a denim design, a camo design, um, both the buffalo plaid in black and red and then they just had plain red and what else do they have I think and then these right here so they had you know this cheetah print like I said it's, you get 10 in a pack which is actually better than what they normally sell which is like I think three in a pack so I got these I got the they looked like they were blue in the store and now they're looking black, so I'm not sure. The polka dotted ones and I got the um, red, white, and blue ones, the the flag. I bought, I bought this for my dad. He is a retired Navy vet, served 20 years, served in the Vietnam War. Um, and you know, he's always wearing his freaking um, Navy vet, you know, veteran hat everywhere he goes. So I figured, okay, might as well mask your face with the flag so, and he loved it when I gave him this he was like so happy he's like oh I'm gonna wear one on you know on 4th of July and I'm like no you need to keep these in your car so that you have masks um even though he's been vaccinated my mom's been vaccinated I've been vaccinated um you know my dad's 82 so he still needs to be doubly protected so yeah I mean these are actually he already opened it up he's already got one out um you know they're a triple ply as they should be if you're wearing a disposable mask or any mask. Um, this is what it looks like when you take them out. And it does have the nose wire. This feels a little bit, well, actually, it's not too bad. So, you know, I mean, it's not bad, but I told him I want him to keep these um, 
candy. So because he's like always forgetting, and then he complains about the mask that we give him. He doesn't like the cloth mask. Sorry, my air conditioner just turned on. So he likes these because they have like the smaller loops. So yeah, so I got him these, and I figured that I was gonna keep a pack in my car because one of the rare times that I actually forget to put a fresh mask in my purse before I leave the house, then I'm kind of like, fuck, I don't have any mask, you know? So I keep two extra cloth ones at work, and then um, I always, like I said, I always try to remember to put um, a mask in my purse, actually two masks, because I have one for work and then one for when I'm out and about. Because the ones that I use for out and about are the ones that wick away the moisture, because um, I have very oily skin, and then, you know, it's very hot and humid here in the south, so I need something that's gonna keep my face cool. And, um, yeah, I always forget to keep one in the car, and, um, I mean, I probably have like 60 masks, cloth masks, because I don't want to have to constantly be rewashing them. So that way, when by the time that I do laundry, I still have enough masks to last at least until by the time I do laundry. So yeah, so I was gonna keep a couple of these in the car just in case. And you know, when flu season comes around, and then every we're pretty, we've already pretty much achieved herd immunity, then I will be wearing these during flu season. I'm not gonna. Only like, you know, if I'm, uh, I guess like in the store or whatnot and I hear somebody hacking away. All right. So we got those and then I also purchased a book, um, this right here called want it's, um, I think this is the first out of the series. So it looked really interesting. Yeah. That must be the second, I'm oh, sorry, the second, um, book. But it, it looked really interesting, so actually, let me put these back up. So let me still have a backdrop here. Um, it looked interesting enough to read. I do have enough to read though, but I've already gone through it. <laughs> I'll talk about that later. So I bought these um, plastic forks because I was gonna use them for um, when I'm melting the wax beads, when I'm doing some wax seals, because I just did my very, very first wax seal and I completely forgot that I was supposed to put, I'm not supposed to put, but use um, a um, toothpick so that when I use two different colors, I can kind of swirl it around and it'll look better. So yeah, so I figured I'll just go ahead and get these. There's 70 pieces anyways, and it's plastic. So I picked up this washi right here. Okay, if it's focusing, actually, let me get up closer. Okay, there we go. Because it's, you know, it's the night sky. thought it was really pretty. And it seems to me like they're not giving you as much um, washi as they used to. That doesn't look like a lot. I did get these beauty jars because I like to put my lotion in them um, when I carry it in my purse. Because carrying something like this is fine when you're still carrying a black hole of a purse. A big one. But, um... I nowadays carry a smaller purse, so I like to take this, scoop it, and put it in one of these, and then keep that in my purse. Um, because, like I said before, I wash my hands a lot, and they dry out really fast. So, let's move on to the next bag here. I bought these pens. Well, there's only one in there. I already took out the other because I wanted to test it. It's the Gelosity by Bic Smooth Gel Pen. 0.5. Um, I just wanted to see how it would work because I'm always looking for a good pen to use at work since I have to handwrite a lot of stuff. Um, I did purchase three of these, which I should have gave to my nieces today, but I forgot. Um, I guess I'll give it to them next weekend. These are some of the Barbie. Um, I might have already given them, but that's okay because there's two of them and they're all constantly fighting over stuff. So. Um, these are like the Barbie accessory sets. So you've got the laptop, you got the tacos. I'm pretty sure I've already given that to them. And then you got the beauty, um, the foot spa. So not bad for a dollar. You know, they, I think they're, they could possibly be still selling these in store. Um, that location that I went to had one of the mask containers left. Wah, wah. So I picked up the last one. I'm not going to say no to those anymore. If I see them, I'm grabbing them. I picked up another of these craft uh, scrapers. Why? Uh, I just wanted to have one at my desk. Um, 
my regular desk so that if I'm gluing something down, even with, on, on, you know, onto the Hobonichi or the traveler's notebook journal, then it's easy for me to just, it's just there. You know, I don't have to come back to my other room and grab it. I always grab two of these. These are the Lifesaver gummies um, in the Wildberry. It's my favorite. Um, whenever I feel like I need a sugar attack, I always dig those out. And then I got this. I always use this. I've already gone through one. This is focused or not. There we go. This is the Badia Complete Seasoning. Love this. It has everything that I like to put on my eggs, on my chicken, on whatever. So picked up one of these. But the ironic thing is that I was at a store called Dee Dee's, which is owned by, you know, TJ Maxx, Marshall, some goods. It's like a ghetto version, I guess you could say. I just decided to go there because sometimes you can find some really good deals. And they had a ginormous bottle of this for $2.29. So it was like, man, that was an even better deal. So I picked that one up. So once I'm done with this smaller one, then I will go ahead and, you know, start buying it from over there. So got another one of these lotions because I gave one away to Clarissa. Haha, <laughs> I mailed off her package yesterday. So I needed to go ahead and um, restock again. Um, it probably takes me about a month, I think, to go through one of those um, tins, plastic tins. So I, that's why I sh I'll try to keep a lot of it on hand because you never know when Dollar Tree is going to stop selling them. So I got one of these Playmobil figures. Now I have a couple of these and it's a dollar. So, you know, can't resist. I hope I get a really good um, character. I resisted opening it because I wanted to film this uh, video first. I picked up two of these metallic uh, markers because this will work really well with the wax seals and you know you can't beat a dollar for them they my uh, wax seal kit came with the silver and the gold and um, those should work well especially if I'm going to be using like lighter you know wax colors so then these are the last two things that I purchased I'm looking around just to be sure there's not an extra bag laying around somewhere but I purchased two more books to give to my niece for her birthday She's going to get a ton of books for me. So this one right here is called Hero Worship. Um, I figure, yeah, she'll be able to read this. And I know that her sister will too. So I got that. And then this one, <laughs> the cover drew me because look at that. 3D, right? Um, this is from the Lovecraft Middle School uh, you know, series called the Slither Sisters. And... I don't know. She probably will get freaked out, maybe, or she'll think it's cool. There you go. See, look at that. That's what they look like. They're normal, but they really are just monsters, okay? So it's about these two girls. And that's it. But I'm going to throw this in because even though it's not Dollar Tree, Five Below is close to um, the Dollar Tree that I went to um, the other day. And we, like I said, I had to take my nieces to a Five Below today, so I picked this up because I love Gudetama, the lazy egg, and he's just so cute. Look at him. He's got a little balloon. It's right here. It says right there. Can I go now? I wanted to get, and I have to go back because I know that they had it. They had Snooze, and if they have shorts, I'm going to get him because he's so, because that's just really cute. Or I might just get comfy and chill. Either way, I mean, it was $5, but it's a really cute display. You know, cute to put on, on your desk or whatnot. I like collecting um, little figures like this. So yeah, that is the entire Dollar Tree haul for the what, second week. Is it second week? First week of June, excuse me. So hopefully I will get this edited and up <laughs> soon. All right, everybody. I hope you all have a great week. All right? Bye.